Welcome back to In Ohio Country today. Big Dan Wilson alongside of Dr. Matthew Harbour. And Matt is a research agronomist for True Point Cooperative. Uh, Matt, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Thanks for having me. It's nice to have you back on the air with us. Uh, good to be with you again. Let's talk about that fine uh, uh, division of True Point, PCT, what's happening with some of the research and development with regards to uh, some of the agronomy products and uh, services that you're providing there. Right. Well, PCT stands for Progressive Crop Technology, and it is our in-house line of specialty fertilizers, fertilizers that can be used at planting for starters or uh, foliar applied during the growing season to deliver nutrients right to the plant. So uh, this time of year, we're looking forward to uh, planting, and we're thinking a lot about starters. And one of the things that concerns us going into this growing season is whether we're going to have enough microorganisms in the soil to do all the services that the plant needs. Uh, for example, we're seeing the universities recommend that soybeans be treated with rhizobium. These are the little bacteria that actually fix nitrogen and provide it to the soybean plant. And since we're reading those concerns, we're also concerned what other microbes may be missing from the ideal mixture for plants. So we're, um, we have five kinds of micronutrients in our corn starter and our soybean starter, and they help the plant to develop better root hairs, to, um, to have better access to nutrients, and even to fight off some of the pathogens or bad organisms that we have in the soil. You know, before you, you bring those products uh, to our farmer patrons, there's a lot of research and development that goes on to get those to the marketplace. Tell us some of the things that happen behind the scenes to create those kind of products. Right. Well, some people may not know, I come from a university background. I've done research for Iowa State University and the University of Minnesota. So I have very high expectations for the kind of research that we do here at PCT to make sure that these products are effective. So we uh, run two research farms in Ohio and uh, numerous on-farm studies where we, uh, we put out our treatments and plots and we make sure that they're doing what we say they're going to do. You know, when you're using those types of test plots, you know, sometimes uh, the products that you're, you're developing at those plots may not uh, be the perfect fit for most soils outside of Ohio. So how do you work to customize the product for the end user? Right. Well, we, um, first of all, we don't try to replace a dry fertility program. Some other products do. Uh, we, we, we're very strong advocates of good soil testing and a, a good basic nutrition program with dry fertilizers. But then for Ohio soils, uh, we um, actually we don't test the soil so much as we run tissue tests during the growing season to make sure that we know exactly what the plant needs. It's like if you went to the doctor, you would get a blood test to make sure that your, um, you know, your enzymes and other things were in proper balance. Well, we take tissue tests to the lab and make sure that the plant is receiving the nutrients that it needs for optimum growth. You know, when we're talking about research and development, you know, I think one of the things that uh, our, our farmer patrons know is that uh, our products and services that they're getting, including the seed, has been tested. It's been, it's been utilized to give them the best performance possible. But let's talk to the non-farmer patrons that are out there, people who are, you know, supporters, obviously, of agriculture, our number one industry in the state of Ohio and here in the United States. Let's talk about uh, the concerns that some people would have about those products that you're producing. Uh, the environmental uh, uh, background and, and the checks that are being taken to make sure that we're providing and giving our farmer patrons products that are going to be environmentally friendly. Right. Well, uh, one of the first things I would say about our products is that we place them where the plant can use them immediately, and that means that less of that nutrient is left over to go out into the environment and cause potentially adverse effects. So by putting nutrients right with the seed or spraying it right on the plant leaf, we're guaranteeing a higher uptake of that nutrient versus other methods. Uh, the second thing that we do is we, uh, we carefully scrutinize the, the research that's been done by universities and other organizations. And uh, we, we, we look to them to tell us what are the, the appropriate nutrients and the appropriate microorganisms to be putting out into the environment to maximize plant growth. It doesn't do us any advantage to put something out there that isn't going to help the plant grow. And so we focus on getting the right nutrients and the right organisms into the crop at the right time. You know, Matt, it's, it's not your granddaddy's farm anymore, is it? Uh, no, it certainly isn't. And it's, it's not your father's farm either. Uh, 10 years ago, we were focused on minimizing costs. 
Now we've got an opportunity to practice premium agronomy and to be rewarded handsomely for doing so. You know, people want more information about this kind of cutting-edge technology. Where do they go? Uh, well, I would uh, ask them to uh, contact their TruePoint agronomist and uh, to convey their concerns to them, and then we can work as a team to address whatever issues there may be. Matt, thanks for joining us as always. And again, you know, it's something that somebody, you know, they want more information about. Uh, one of the things that I always wanted to stress is that you guys are more than happy to not only communicate with them, but to sometimes go out to their farms and visit with them one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, absolutely. Uh, that's what we're here for. Yeah, absolutely. Matt, thanks for joining us. So we'll be back with more in Ohio Country today right after this.